That is a time consuming process to burn and scrape all that wood. Never, never late to supper. It's what I like to call the Goldilocks hour here at the camp. And it might be fun for us to kind of feed some of the herbivores here. Nice, here he goes. Go on, Stumps. Hey, what's going on everyone? Kevin here and I'm just hanging out here with Lagatha. And today's video, I got chores to do. Uh, just because we're all quarantined doesn't mean we don't have to be productive in our own special way. Uh, she's just hanging out enjoying this beautiful sunny day. And what I wanna do is I wanna take more of these fence pickets and kind of string them up along the bottom half of the cage all the way around. So one side, two sides, and then this third side, uh, because I wanna make sure I give her a really cool um, visual barrier so she doesn't have to pace out towards the bottom. Um, that's good for her overall security and well-being. I think it'll look really cool. Um, I went all the way from top to bottom on that side, but from here, we're just gonna go from here down all the way around. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today, plus a few other chores. So uh, why don't you guys come along with me so I can show you just what a typical day here is like at the camp. It's a lot of work. There's a lot going on. We sincerely thank all of you happy campers out there. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kennan. This week, we'd like to give a special shout out to our returning patron, Charles Elders. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. Isn't she just being amazing? She's really calmed down here. And I think with the improvements I do today, she's gonna get even more relaxed. Let's get to it. Hey Hercules, oh, oh, hey, stay there please. Oh God, that is a time consuming process to burn and scrape all that wood. <clears throat> I'm exhausted, it took a lot of time, as you can imagine through the time lapses. But here we are, my rubber made a scene better days, I think. Um, well, I guess I'll just have to let it down. There we go. Okay, so there's Lagatha. How you doing Laggy Lou? Laggy Lulu. What you doing, boo-boo? All right, we're gonna get this all buttoned up for her, and then hopefully there'll be daylight left. Okay, here we go. All right, everyone, we got it done. You can tell I'm tired, but how cool does this look? I love these. Uh, when they burn, uh, it actually gives them an aged look. I kind of like that. Um, that's the whole reason we do it. It's gone completely around. So now she's gonna have the ground kind of blocked out. All right, so I'm kind of happy about that. I don't mind having wind blow through the top if we have some kind of hurricanes or something like that. We're gonna want that wind to blow through. But uh, otherwise, it's, uh, it's looking pretty good. It gives it a good background. I'm really digging it. Took most of the day, but don't worry, there's still some daylight. Let's say goodbye to Laggy. Lag, I got your thing all set for you. Enjoy the place. Um, I got other reptiles to say hello to, and now I can relax, because I got something very important done. Oh, by the way, crocodile monitors do like to dig. Glad I completely sealed this in by having that very thick wire on the ground as well. So very important if you guys are gonna do something involving monitors or any, any reptile, make sure you completely 
seal it, it's worth taking that extra precaution. <clears throat> Let's go ahead. We're gonna wheel this back and we're gonna go hang out with some animals because that's why I do this. Oh my gosh, here's Hercules. He's out and about still. It's that time of day where the sun is not so powerful. The reptiles are then able to get out and move. It's what I like to call the Goldilocks hour here at the camp. So we're gonna go wander around. I think I have some collard greens and it might be fun for us to kind of maybe feed some of the herbivores here at the camp. That'll be kind of cool. All right, let's go. Oh. I am, uh, I look like a chimney sweep. Yeah, and uh, like I said, it's worth it. Okay. <sighs> Let's get some collards. Oh, there we go. I think we got a few collard greens to give out. Gotta love it. Oh, you gotta find yourselves a restaurant depot or some kind of wholesaler that works in produce because that's going to make all the difference if you can get yourselves a uh, wholesale account because you can then buy those cases. I spent on that case right there, I spent $14. That's 24 collard greens in there. So that's a pretty darn good price if you ask me. Uh, just want to give you that tip. It's something that you guys can look for in your own town. Find who is the wholesalers and uh that should definitely help you sorry if the camera is wobbling all over uh if you can imagine i've got so much going on and i'm just trying to get it all done because the work doesn't stop here and i kind of like to keep things as neat as possible um it just makes life better for me and, and for the animals oh god all that wood i burned when we were working on the other iguana cage we got to get these little lunatics fed and what i'll do is i'm just gonna rip some collards out and uh basically throw it on their plate and that's that let's see what we got here all right uh, let's get a big bushel okay very good so hope you guys are contending with this insanity better than me well i guess we're all doing all right i can't complain really i'm sure there are others that got it worse but we all got to just hang in there so that we can make it through this calamity. But the good news is, is that we are luckily living in a time where we understand what to do with these kind of situations and viruses. And that's what all this new vernacular is, social distancing, yada, yada, yada. Oh, she's a loony. Let me shut this because she gets a little too excited and I don't want her to fly out. Oh, come on, Bubba. There's stumps. Let's get some more. I gotta get some more for them. Get them some more food. And guys, this is just a quick feeding. I'm just ripping it up in the hands, throwing it out for them. And uh, there you go. So I'm hoping to get this iguana enclosure done soon so we can get these guys out and into a more suitable habitat. Let's go see Guapo and Lola. I'm sure they'd be very happy to see us. We'll give them one whole bushel and we can get some for Solomon. Oh, look, here he goes. Come on, Stumps. Nice, that's a good boy. He's always first. He's not shy when it comes to food. He teamed up very nicely. Uh, who else is about? Oh, look, Slinky Man is in there. Hey, Slinks, don't worry about the algae. That always happens at the end of the day. It's just such a hot sun. The algae just comes up and then in the evening uh, at 12 o'clock midnight, it overflows. Oh, look at who it is. Come on, Guapo, will you guys get over here? Oh, I didn't bring, oh good, I have a tray from the other day. We got a tray. Hey, psst, get in here before you know who sees you. Come on, come on. Oh, there you go. Come on, you lovely lady, you. Get in there. Oh my gosh. We don't want another incident, do we? Because uh, good old Slinks was on his way over. I'm gonna take a few of these. And I like to shred off. You always, I always take this off of the, um, I take it off the stalk for these guys. I don't want them eating the stalk. Uh, it's a little bit more difficult to digest for them. Not impossible, but difficult. A little bit more difficult. So let's sh uh, tear it off. These guys are a little spoiled. They like their chow, their iguana chow. But here comes Guapo, he's figuring it out. Not a problem. So, 
like I said, I like to get out here after a hard day. I love working. I love getting uh, some forward motion. And then I even like coming on out here and just making sure the animals are doing good. This is the point of the day where you get to spend time with the animals and make sure that everybody's happy and healthy and moving. And that's it. pretty good stuff. Let's get this up off the ground. Let's see about the good old monkey tails. You guys, uh, the habitat's looking good. So uh, very thrilled about that. These guys are more nocturnal. So remember I put that fluker moss in there, that sphagnum? Look, do you think he looks happy in it? And then the other cool thing, hey bub, is she, believe it or not, our girl, I don't wanna get bit here, our girl. Whoa, oh, you gotta be fast with Solomon. Oh, so, oh, Solomon. Here, let's see if we could take his mind off my fingers by putting it on to a collard. Look at what I got, collards. Come on, come on, dude. Get yourself some fresh greens. Come on, man. Get yourself some collard, dude. What do you think? Not in the mood? All right, I'm gonna tear it up anyway. And the cool thing about this sphagnum moss is if they ingest a little bit of it, not an issue. There you go. Come on, keep eating. Keep, will you eat it? So I really wanna find our sexy lady, there she is down in there, guys. She's buried under it, like I said she would be. There you go, boo-boo. You can have some of that. Like I said, um, this is just a light feed. I'm gonna throw some greens in here. Since they like to um, come out at night, I figured I'll just throw it in whilst they are right there. Just a little treat. They're gonna get a big feed tomorrow. So there you have a quick feed. Oops, let's get this picked up. Oh my gosh, so much to do. <sighs> okay, who shall we go see next? Who shall we see next? Well, this, oh, look at this. The blackhead must have been out and about. He's slithering on back into his uh, little hide box. So that's cool. And who else was out there? Oh, there's the Timor Python up in the back. And then another one is actually inside. And looks like both of our friends, the Hog Island Boas, are actually sticking around and they're staying inside. Okay. Hey, buddy. I'm leaving. I fed you already. You got fed. Yes, you did. Slinky is definitely not starving to death. Okay. He'd eat me out of house and home if I'd let him... That guy likes to eat, but we like to keep him looking athletic. It's felt. Okie dokie. Moving right along. These will actually be good for the tortoises because they can eat the stalks. They'll chow down on it, no issues. Hey, let's go see some of these hybrids, huh? Here are Siobhan and Cutie Pie. LDA, LDA, little Dave, little Dave, who's a girl. Um, and who else? Oh, I don't know. I forget names. There you go. I'm just tossing it in. But isn't that a beautiful tortoise? Beautiful. Up, oh, and the other ones are under there. Let's grab them. Let's go get them going. So this is just crazy, man. You guys get to see what a typical day is like when I'm busy. Uh, quarantine or not, this is the stuff that I do. There are the two. I think you can see them. Let me get you guys right up in the action. There they are. The two other leprechauns. Just put some of this for them. Let them do their thing. You guys watch them for a second. Um, and I'm going to go grab another bushel for the leopard tortoises. Okay. <clears throat> Look, here's the deal. They're tortoises. They are... Not exactly going to be moving too quickly right now, but how about these two beauties? Just gorgeous leopard tortoises. I love them, and I'll leave this here for them, and they'll wake up very soon to find it, because like I said, we're just getting to that uh, cooler part of the day where these guys are going to be uh, moving around more. So, awesome. Awesome. All righty. Here are snow leopards. They're out and about. These guys are ready for a bushel, I think. So we'll do a light 
feed for everybody. Hi guys, how you doing? Every night their water goes on, trickles down in here. But I also like to feed right on this because it's of course uh, gonna help them when it turns out to be uh, when they nibble, you'll see. Uh, watch that gal as she takes a bite. I'm gonna get another bushel. Oh boy, let's get some of these guys over here. Oh, I just like to put them right over there so they don't miss dinner. Now they'll get it going. Okay, so you know why we're at it, everybody. Adam Slain, one of our Patreon supporters, asked a pretty good question. Uh, as we're gonna go over to the, uh, what are they? The Redfoots now, he's got a Redfoot tortoise and he's asking me what would be a good kind of companion. Uh, for him, for that redfoot tortoise. Uh, I think he's meaning he wants to do a multi-species exhibit, which is pretty exciting. That's a fun thing to do. So um, yeah, let's, uh, let's talk about that. Um, number one, the best companion is another redfoot tortoise, but there are some other animals that might be fun to put in there that are humidity loving and uh, actually from the same area as the redfoot tortoise. Here you go. So here's the redfoots. I got this plywood down because what I've been doing is feeding them on the plywood. Uh, but the redfoots, guys, uh, you could put common green iguanas with them because common green iguanas share their range. And I think that's a really, really cool tortoise. Uh, I mean, rather, lizard. Uh, so that would be one of my recommendations. Definitely green iguana. Uh, elongated tortoises are pretty cool. Uh, they are from Asia, but they have the same requirements as these guys. And look at them coming over. Just like these guys were in their old enclosure. They just start coming from far and wide all across the land. There's Lego. Hey, Lego, what's going on? Get over here. She's so cute with her little goofy self. Gotta love Lego. But uh, yeah, man, it's a, uh, it's a good question. I love multi-species exhibits. Um, as you know, I've kept lizards with some of my tortoises. Um, just make sure that they have very similar requirements. Now, the redfoot tortoises, guys, these guys are from a very wide range in South America and some of the Caribbean islands. Um, basically, they will wander to grasslands uh, where they get seasonal rain, so they can take it a little bit drier, not desert-like, but they don't always have to be rained on uh, like most forest species or animals that just dwell in, you know, uh, a very canopied uh, environment. Um, so basically what I would suggest is just finding a lizard that won't eat them. Uh, make sure they're big enough to not get consumed by lizards. Because guess what? Even though green iguanas are considered herbivores, a lot of herbivores would not miss an opportunity for a very easy protein snack. And a small baby tortoise would be just that snack. So be careful. You don't want to mess up and get your lizard uh, to eat your iguana. All right, very important. Um, so my, my favorite thing would be doing something with a green, uh, green iguana, to be perfectly honest there, Adam. That's what I would do. So uh, thanks so much for your support. And I appreciate that. What do you think, guys? Dude? They could do with one more bushel, I think. And then we'll go ahead and throw some stuff out for the critters out front. As you can tell, I'm losing my voice for some reason. I don't know why. It's just berserk. Uh, I love seeing all these guys cruise over. I'm glad I moved these guys into this area because they are just very personable tortoises and they are doing extremely well. Uh, let's give Herc a bushel as well. Good old Herc. Hercules, I love him. There he is, everybody. We're gonna get Hercules out into the grass, though. What a handsome guy. What are, you, what are you sleeping on the job, kid? He keeps everything mowed nicely out here. Very good job, good job. All right, Hercs, let me just uh, untie this. You guys look at Hercules. We'll get him straightened away. Here, buddy. You better wake up. Come on, Hercules. Get over here. It's time. This guy is never late, never, never late to supper. 
Come on, Hercules, I love you. Even though I can't keep you with the other tortoises cause you are rough and tough and whatever. Come on, man, don't be shy. Oh, really? You got something against me? That's a boy, get going. Good man, good man. Love that tortoise. Uh, all right, so we got these guys fed. We're gonna wander out front and keep this show a rolling. Um, whenever I get like this, guys, uh, very, very um, tired, I get a little slappy, and uh, you know, what can I say? It may not be the most coherent bit of video, but it sure is fun. And some of you guys may be stuck at home. Maybe this is your opportunity to get out uh, by virtually hanging out with me, and I do appreciate it. Each and every one of you, let's get some cherry heads going. Gosh. Like I said, all of my carnivores ate, so we don't have any issues. There's some cherry heads. There they are. All right. Pitches, pitches right there. That's the New Yorkies I got. One. Two. Three. And what's great is these guys are going to smell that far and wide. I'm gonna, while they're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and drop in some food for the rhino iguanas. Then we'll get you a nice little shot of these guys eating. Let them smell it. They have incredible senses of smell, these tortoises. And um, you'll see the tortoises will soon be pouring out of their house to come eat. We got a little dish right here. Hey. Come on, guys. Come on. Oh, boy. See this? Come on, you little peaky. Come on, man. Come on out. They're gonna start coming out. There's one. That's a beauty. So very nice. Okay, I wanted to get rid of this uh, carton and we are doing just that. Now the radiateds are doing well on the grass. So let's go give Socrates, Nostradamus and our big gal Darwin a little snack. Oh, hello, 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 hello. There she is, what a gal. All right, let's go. We're gonna bring it over here. I drained this the other day. I'll fill it up here tomorrow morning. And this is where I like to feed them. I like to get them on here or on that plywood because I don't want them eating off the soil. So we just do this. All right, well look everybody, we got a lot done today. I um, glad I was able to show you the process for getting the cage finished it's just those little details that you could really get into when you guys are kind of stuck at home doing things um, I know not everyone's home is like this but there's always something you could do for your animals while you guys are locked away and this will pass my friends this will all pass and everything will get back to normal so we got to do what we can to make sure that we get through this how about it the reptiles don't seem to mind come on baby get on in there so there's my girl Darwin, love her. And way out there, I think I saw, oh, there's Nostradamus. Come on, Nostradamus, get over here. He sees me. All right, they're on the move. 
Very cool. All right, everyone, I just wanted to say thanks for joining me here. Uh, this was a crazy video. We did a lot, and um, oh, I uh, enjoy sharing it with you guys. I like making these animals' lives better. What are you gonna come over here? What are you gonna do? What, what, are you, what are you doing? I don't know, she's stopping. What, you wanna give me a kiss, don't you? Oh, you just wanna get over there better. Oh, here come a uh, freaking frack on their way. What you gonna do, you gonna bite me? Huh? What you gonna do? Do you have something in your mouth? Do I have something in my mouth? Here you go. Come on. Uh, that's a nice girl. Mm, collards filled with iron, vitamin D, lots of calcium. Uh, anyway, I think these guys are gonna make their way on over. Thanks so much for watching, you guys rule. Stay safe, stay inside. It's the best thing to do right now. We know how to combat this. I'll be posting videos the entire time. So don't you worry. And um, that's it, that's my message to you. I think these guys are almost upon us. I'm gonna leave you now with these beautiful creatures racing, racing towards their colleagues. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much. See you.